a big huge camera array with a telephoto camera that uses what's usually a flagship primary sensor and uncharacteristic design plenty of power and above average battery weirdly regressive charging this is the realme gt5 pro realme's first snapdragon 8 gen 3 smartphone their new flagship so what's special this time Hey guys, Ali here from 5M Tech and let's find out pick up the GT5 Pro and it feels very familiar, very different. All at once, let me explain in hand. The GT5 Pro doesn't really feel like any Realme phone I've ever used. In fact, it feels closer to something like the Oppo Find X6 Pro. The large camera array to the back, the curved display up front, the metal sides with the front and back curving into it. If you like these kind of phones, you're going to love the GT5 Pro. Now just like the phone, it is around 220 grams for the eco leather variant. Glass is roughly 5 grams heavier, it's also quite thick at 9.23 mm. But you aren't going to notice it due to the curves with the display. In the back now, there is a lot of work that's gone into this back. Let's take a closer look at the camera array. We have a ring that's color matched to your color way of choice. Then on top of it sits a stainless steel ring with 300 plus gear patterns on it, which are matched inside the camera array too. We have the non-centered realm below. What do you think of this? The camera, I think it is unique and I like it to anyone who has a problem with it. I have two words for you, X7 Pro, I rest my case. The camera array being large and centered means there's no wobbling when you put the GT5 Pro down on a table and use it when you're using it in hand. To the bottom, here's where we find the SIM tray, the primary speaker and mic alongside a USB Type-C port. This is USB 3.1 Type-C. So good stuff. Now the top and bottom are both flat to the point. The display what we find on the GT5 Pro is a 6.78 inch 10 bit OLED panel. This is a 1.5K panel with 144Hz refresh rate. The bezels are very slim. Brightness peak for HDR is an insane 4500 nits of course. It's improved even more given Realme's provided Dolby Atmos support for headphones and the stereo speakers themselves also sound nice and loud. All this is backed up by a larger than average 5400 mAh battery with the included 100 watt charger. The GT5 Pro can go from 0 to 100 in under 30 minutes. Now I found this a little weird since the vanilla GT5 was sold with 150 and even 240 watt charging options while the Pro gets restricted to 100 watts strange. The software front this year's Realm UI5 built it up Android 14. Now the GT5 Pro obviously fared fast and snappy. Its 32 megapixel camera was fine reasonably detailed and crisp without any weird skin smoothening now. Another interesting option Realme provides is letting you lock games into memory. Games are usually the ones that get killed first because they do take up a lot of memory. So having an option to keep them locked in might just be useful. The RAM tops out at 16 gigs for the GT5 Pro cause with the vanilla GT5 Realme did offer a 24 gig option. The storage still goes up to 1 TB though. Now it's time to talk about the cameras. The primary here is a new Sony LIA sensor. The Light 808 is the same one that's supposed to be on the upcoming OnePlus 12. Here it's paired with an optically stabilized f1.669 lens. Now obviously this is a good sensor and it shows images are well. For video we can shoot 8K 24fps here. So guys how was the video please let us know in the comment box below. And don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so you can get an update for any new videos. See you in next video take care bye.